Hi guys, one cool thing about running Archer Nix is that you don't need to wait for some camera manufacturer's dodgy software and drivers to, to make sure you can tether it. For example, with just Linux, the VL, V4L video for Linux loopback driver, which is packaged in um, a, DK, a DKMS external module, you can just plug it in like this. Let me just record my screen here. I choose PC Tether. It sort of pops up there. This is my GH5. And now all I need to do is run Gphoto. This is the thing that seems to work quite well. Again, v video for Linux. I'm setting up on device video two. I haven't quite understood how to change the resolution, but it's just a demo. And then I use MPV, my, my, my video playback on that particular device. It's got a strange address, I must say. And uh, that is a video feed from my GH5. That's how, that, that's how you get it working on under Linux. Of course, you would use that device in OBS if you were streaming. The same principle applies to the ZV-1 from Sony. Let me just turn my GH5 off, find my micro SD cable. Inside the menu here, you have to put on, what's it called? Uh, PC mode or something. I'll, I'll put the details in the description. And again, just turn it on. There we go. Do that G photo trick again. It seems to be working. This is what it comes up with. Z V1. And let's do an MPV again. And that is video from a ZV1. So that's how easy it is, guys. Please like the video and start using Arsenix because it makes life easier, right? I love it how all the drivers are in there. Thanks for watching. Bye.